Well, new, now at five, Friar Fever has moved on to the NCAA tournament. PC plays in its first round game this Thursday. Sports director Yanni Caracas joins us live in studio now with a preview. Shannon, it's been a whirlwind 24 hours for PC head coach Ed Cooley and his staff. They learned their matchup last night at around 6.30, and it's been 0-60 to 60 ever since. We cut up with the Friars today at Alumni Hall prior to a team practice. PC has a 9 seed, is preparing for an 8 seed USC team that plays on the other side of the country in a different time zone and in a different conference. So Ed Cooley and his staff have had to do plenty of homework since last night. I went home and um, watched film from about 9 to about 2, slept to 4.30, walked back up and watched film from about 4.30 to 9. The 8-9 games is a toss-up game all the time. You know, you got the luxury of playing one of the number one seeds. We're just excited and uh, I love our draw. It should be a good game. It should be fun. Uh, playing in a different uh, arena is going to be fun. Playing against a different team, you know what I mean, outside our conference. So I think it's going to be a good time. Coming up new at 6, we get more into the matchup with USC, what they bring to the table that the Friar should be worried about, plus a Friar player with local ties to Southern California. I'm Yanni Krakis, Eyewitness News. Now Friar Fever, Providence College officially heading to the NCAA tournament for the third year in a row, and now we know who the team will face and where. Sports Director Yanni Karakis joins us now with more details. Yanni. Mike, PC is on a historic run here. The first time they've been in the NCAA tournament three years in a row since the glory days of the 1970s with Ernie D and Marvin Barnes. Now it's time for Providence to win a game. To do that, they'll have to be eight seed USC. We caught up with the ninth seeded Friars today at practice as they prepare for the Trojans of Southern California. PC will leave for Raleigh tomorrow. And while many are saying it's a tough draw with number one seed North Carolina looming, if the Friars win, as always, Zed Cooley remains positive. I love where my team is right now. Mentally, I think we're in a good space. Physically, I think we're in a good space. You got to be excited. It's March Madness. I, I think I think we're uh, we're as healthy as we've been in a long time.